try to be like Christ. Jesus says, uh, remember, he said, uh, you know, be as your heavenly Father is perfect. He's telling his disciples. How do we do that? Through the Son of God, through Yeshua, Hamashiach. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Okay. So these are things that people say, uh, they speak without understanding, they condemn their brothers. Uh, a lot of people condemn uh, real Christians for following Yeshua and call them fools. Okay. Yeshua says you're in danger of the judgment for doing that. Okay? You can't just throw these things out uh, all the time. Curse people, use curse words. It's not right. You know, if you're a Christian, learn to bridle your tongue. It's very important. Ask for the gift of tongues. All of us from time to time go through that. I've gone through quite a bit here in Israel, but I've always, I've always ended up blessing whoever it is that's been going through my bags, causing me problems, you know, uh, you know, some Jewish guy thinking that I'm going around trying to make Talmud him. I'm just here to uh, teach the Torah, okay? I know that it's not, I know that the, the real orthodoxy is, 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 is Yeshua and his Talmudim. There's a false orthodoxy in Judaism, this, this in Israel today is false. They'll never accept the true orthodoxy, which is uh, the true Ten Commandments that we can only do through faith in the Son of God. They'll never accept that unless they accept the Son of God. So keep preaching the Gospel. Remember Romans 10 is what I was given. Uh, when I came here, which I'll just read out in a second. I'll just read out in a, in a second, Romans 10. If you can even turn to that, and we can just read out what I was shown from the Lord, which uh, which was in discussion with a Christian brother, and it just came out of my mouth, what about Romans 10? And uh, let's read it, read, read what it says. You just have to forgive me, this is a Hebrew English Bible, it takes a little bit longer to turn to it. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. That's just what I was given before I came here. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Elohim or of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. So in other words, um, if you're trying to be saved through keeping the law, uh, only Christ managed to do that. Only Yeshua managed to do that. No man. No other man has been able to do that, okay? Um, you can't establish God's righteousness by trying to keep the law. You only do it through faith or through belief and trust in Yahweh, okay? And if you have any trust in Yahweh and belief in Him, He will direct you to His Son. That's how it works. That's how faith works. That's how every aspect of life and Elohim works today. Okay, that's how it works, Jew or Gentile, all right? Um, and so it's written here, um, if you go through Romans 10, okay, it's basically saying that Israel needs to hear the gospel. Israel needs to hear the gospel. And yes, we need to explain that Jeremiah 31, 33 
is the new covenant. And then they'll say, why aren't Christians uh, keeping the commandments there? And I'll say, well, I don't know. Maybe it's another Christ they have. I, don't, I really don't, I don't know why, okay? But if we're in Christ, we keep the commandments, all of them. It doesn't mean to say you have to keep the traditions of Judaism, not at all. But Israel need to hear the, the gospel. They need to hear the good news of, of Jesus Christ. Okay, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed our report. Okay, he's referring to Isaiah 53, which we know that a lot of the rabbis have actually ripped that out uh, in the Navaim, the prophets. But bless uh, Baruch Hashem, bless the Lord. Um, there's still Jewish people that uh, are hungry for the truth, as it says in the Beatitudes. Those who seek and hunger after righteousness, okay? Those that seek after the kingdom of God and his righteousness, okay, everything shall be added to you. Um, so you can go through Romans 10, read it for yourself. In fact, I would read Romans 10, 11 and 12. But let's keep going through the Beatitudes.